It's 8 in the morning in Philippines. We in traffic, Bobby. <laughs> we going to Karan Island. And I'm gonna camp there, bro. No hotel. We're gonna risk it and see what happens. Say what's up, bro. What's up? We're out of here. Cebu to Karan. Remember my name. And it's probably cause you think you're cooler than me. You're about to see the huge difference in the Philippines from the city life to the island life. We made it, Bobby. We're in Coron. The sun's out a little bit. I can... That's the plane that we took. I don't have no plan, no hotel. I'm literally about to just go rent a bike and drive somewhere and figure it out, Bubby. Let's go. So I have to take a van, 30 minutes, and then we can rent a motorbike. I do the party of the century. The people came over, no one else so here we are, I made it bro, it's time to rent the motorbike. <laughs> Thank you my man, he told me to go north of the islands where the better north, beaches are. Here. It's really crowded here. Really crowded, it's so where the cities here. are, so boring here. But there's basketball here, so I'm about to go play and figure out <laughs> what to do. <laughs> I just got a motorbike for $40 for seven days, it's a pretty good deal. I just put $2 in my gas tank and now I'm ready to go, Bobby, full tank. Bro, the amount of freedom I feel in the Philippines, bro, it's like what America wishes it was. Like, you don't have to worry about getting in trouble or anybody yelling at you or getting mad or you don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about nothing, Bobby. Let's go. We're back. You already know I got to pull up here, Bobby. Oh, yeah. I'm about to be on this island for a minute, bro. Look at all the people here, dude. I love this shit, bro. Look at the terrain here, Bubby. There's the ocean way over there. The mountains behind it. Who's got the no shoe on? One shoe on, one shoe on. Bro, that was the longest game of my life, bro. What up, Bubby? We were just playing for one hour straight. Ones only, no three-pointers. To 25 we normally go to 17 and there's normally a referee to stop from the fighting because people at the end of the game they like to call so many fouls that shit took an hour for one game we got the chuckies thank you mom <laughs> fresh pineapple juice let's go the bakery there's definitely certain things i missed that i didn't even know i missed there's a lot of things you don't even realize you miss until you're gone and then you come back i was gone for over a month and then the little things like at the gas station and the price of everything i love that and it's not even gas stations it's like the little mom and pop stores i love that here we are though bro i think i got a hotel for tonight <laughs> because I don't know I was overthinking I was like what happens if it starts raining or I don't know nobody on the island like if anything goes wrong I'm not gonna have nowhere to go if I do want to quit so I got a hotel I'm gonna put my stuff there but I'm still planning on camping I think just right out here Bubby like literally I'm thinking just like right over here would be a decent spot but we'll see as the night goes I'm about to go get some food. well I love just driving around this country bro golly this is awesome Dude, I love this country. I'm gonna need y'all support. Sleeping outside is fun, but shoot, doing it alone, Bubby, this is like one of the first times I've camped outside alone. We're gonna we'll see how it goes. I asked myself, why don't I do the things like camping alone? And I think it's cause I'm scared. I love camping with girls and my friends and whoever else, but I can't even remember a time I did it alone. So we're about to make history today in a foreign country, Bubby. Now I'll have a whole bedroom to quit and come back to if I want to. Oh, there's a fan, air conditioning, pillows. We're still sleeping outside. How many days do y'all think I'm going to last? Give me right now your estimate, bro. Two days. If I can go two nights, then if I can go five nights, then I'm a top G. Big ding -a touching the floor. Oh, wee! The good chick. Now my bike is dead but the lovely people here will help you if something like this happens, bro. All you gotta do is ask. I love this country, bro. <laughs> Look, I don't know why. We got some pancakes right here on the side of the road, Bobby. <laughs> Hello, mom. Bro, these dudes are still out here hooping. I'm gonna love this island for this reason. I can hoop whenever I want. 
the food that I just bought was more expensive here than Chargao. So that is something to note. The fruit was more expensive, the chicken, everything. So okay, we're about to find a spot right here on the ocean to set up tent. Don't have to worry about getting robbed or beat up or anything. We're here in the Philippines, Bubby. <laughs> oh, you hear the theme song of the Philippines in the background that boom, boom, boom. Ooh, and look what I just did in 10 minutes. Solo by myself, Bubby. We're out here. We got the bike. We got the tent. We got the background. Bro, look at the chrome with the cross. Day one of living in a tent in Philippines. Drop your bets right now. Seven days, 40 days, two days, three days, one day, zero days. Let me know right now how far I'm going to make it, bro. I want to know who's believes in me and who's hating me. Bubby, last time I was in here, there was some freaky, crazy, nasty stuff going on with a Colombian woman. But I'm about to hotbox the tent to purify the air. <laughs> what is this? Is it the firework? You're like, what are you doing? Yes, that's a boga. What is it? Boga, boga. Boga, do boga. it. Show me, do it, do it, do it, do it. Bro, he's trying to light this off. What's up, homie? Hey, I got it. I got it. <laughs> the lighter? Show me. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What's this called? What's this called? What's your name? What? What? What's your name? Boys. Hey, hey, what is this called? What is this called? My name is Boga. Boga. My name is Tanga. Tanga. <laughs> So they're doing like a homemade firework here in the Philippines. Where you from? Show me, show me. Don't blow us up. Do not blow us up. So they put it in there, then they wave it around back and forth. This is like I'm kind of scared. Oh. This is how kids should be playing. It's okay, we had fun. Yeah. I got hey, I got something for you. I got something for y'all. You stay right here. I come back. So I got some. Yeah. You put one up. Oh, let's go. You put it upside down. It don't matter. Let's go. Bro. Oh my gosh, dude. This dude's spraying at it more. He just did it so loud. <laughs> The air conditioning plus the fan plus the pillows like oh the fact that I'm giving this up for some content I'm gonna charge my phone edit this video and I'm taking my ass back out there to that tent all the way by the beach like a 15 minute drive I don't know if that's a wolf or a dog but yeah we're uh, out here it's 10 o'clock at night I have to smoke one up, Bubby. We're gonna hit the hay. I see y'all in the morning, Bubby. It's raining. No, bro. I just want to go at least one night, bro. No, I'm gonna tough it out, bro. It's all right. Should I call it quits? Should I go back to the hotel? Should I just lay here and tough it out? Shit. All right. That might or not be my tent put up on the bike, and it might or not be one in the morning, and I might or not be quitting right now. But I will be coming back to this challenge. It's just so hot inside the tent. When I come out here, it feels amazing. But in that tent, it's so hot and humid. Like, I think I just need to lay on top of the tarp flat. Like, don't even make the little tent because I don't, it's no mosquitoes out here. 
So y'all give me some tips, man. I can't believe that I went half a night, not even a full night. <laughs> At least I'm honest that I told y'all. It's five in the morning and I already had the whole video up ready to upload and it starts pouring rain. So I'm so glad I booked the hotel and so glad I came back. I almost just risked it off for the content with it being a sad ass night, but cheers. We made it this far. We're gonna have a fire bar tomorrow. All right, it's three in the morning. About to go to sleep. Just finished editing the video. It took a couple hours. Uh, short video, but um, yeah, I will do the challenge again if this gets a lot of likes and comments. And y'all want, I would do the challenge tomorrow because I'm trying to upload daily videos. I had to pump this one out it's shorter I, I was on the plane most of the day i was flying from here and it's just a lot of bullshit today i didn't get to explore do nothing interesting really but i'm going back to the daily vlogs i know y'all love that and miss that and that's what y'all want so i have to this is day two and day two of vlogs in a row so i'm glad i got to that point but it just wasn't the best day so tomorrow i'm about to have a crazy better day and a crazy more entertaining and i'm about to go see with the, a little bit more of this island and go eat some good food and go swim and yeah Quran Bubby I see videos about this shit all the time on Instagram and it's literally the most beautifulest thing you could ever imagine but I guess that's the other parts of the island this part's like the I they don't have that like magical look to it even though it is beautiful though but it's like this part is like uh i love it i love it's like small town island vibe but it's still like a city it's like that one dude that i rented the scooter from is like oh you don't want to go here like go anywhere else like i understand why but this is like the city so this is i need to get my bearings i like, get used to the get back in the flow of the Philippines life, the island life. So I'm gonna take it slow. I'm gonna stay in this area for a couple of days and explore around the area, take a little road trip or two. And uh, yeah, I'm going to El Nido next. And then I don't know, a woman is supposed to be joining me. So let's prayers up for that one. And everything's going good in life, bro. Y'all be tuned into Instagram. I'm gonna be posting every day on there and uh, every day on here. I'm gonna go back to that grind and uh, fanboys to the moon tanner just texted me tanner's hyped to join back bro we had a crazy year so much has happened i can't thank y'all enough from the bottom of my heart for y'all support you're genuine you're just being genuine and y'all just 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 really caring about me and this journey and and where this is heading because we're gonna help and change the world and change so many people's lives physically and mentally and this is just like I have to get everybody's attention before I can be an influence and change people's lives. I have to get their attention. And I've literally realized this is like a 10 year plan and I've, it's like year number three or four. It might be a 20 year plan. I don't know how many years, but this is like, a. I remember being just a lot younger and just smoking and thinking like, bro, this would be so, this is like what I feel like I'm supposed to do. And then now, Bro, I remember telling my dad, I'm like, dude, there's an island that's cheap, that people don't judge you, that everybody's happy and healthy. Bro, I told him this shit four years ago, bro. I didn't even know what the Philippines was. And now I'm here living, living out the dream that I always had on this place, on these islands is insane, bro. I can't wait till Tanner gets to join me and my dad. But I got to focus on tomorrow, play some basketball, eat, and just pump these videos out like I used to day after day after day don't care if something crazy happens or not I just got to keep on pumping and y'all's comments and likes and y'all showing love to the video makes the video do better that helps grow the page that helps me make some more money to do more stuff that helps me not stress out it helps me not overthink the content so y'all just please show love bro I'm sorry this video was short I would do better, a lot better tomorrow. We'll have fun. We'll do This video was sick though. I mean, it was a little something, something. So God bless you, fanboys to the moon. Every video can't be 30 minutes if I'm going to go every single day. But I'm going to try tomorrow for a 30 minute video. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to make some shit happen, Bobby. We're going to enjoy the day and hopefully it's sunny and hopefully whatever's, or whatever's meant to happen will happen. Same as your life. Whatever's meant to happen will happen. You just got to take initiative and put action behind your dreams and plan the shit out and you can reach your dreams if you put action and 
figure it out, bro. But it's not going to be handed to you. You got to work towards that shit, bro. And your dream doesn't have to be to make a lot of money, bro. It literally just needs to be you being happy and you figuring out what makes you happy and you getting that shit done. Thank you, bro. God bless you, man. Boys to the moon. Health and wealth from me to you. And God bless you, bro. I'm praying for you. Thank you, bro. Help this shit go viral. <laughs> one day at a time, one vlog at a time. Bamboos to the moon, Bubby. Cheers.